In this video, we are going to take a look at default sets. Using the combination of saved plan views, defaults, and layer sets, they can help you to be efficient and productive when producing a clean set of construction drawings. A default set is a collection of these eight different defaults, such as text and dimensions. When you change a default set, it will subsequently change all of these default settings. As we begin, let's first take a look at defaults. Defaults control the way an object initially behaves. In 2D or elevations, defaults control fonts, colors, arrows, and most important, the layer that the text, dimensions, callouts, and other tools are assigned to. For this video, I'm going to look at two of the defaults, dimensions and text. Let's begin by taking a look at dimensions. Over in the floor plan view, you're going to notice that my dimensions for this kitchen based plan are in inches, they have a certain color, and most importantly, as I just mentioned, they are on the kitchen and bath layer. So when I switch to a framing view or a floor plan view, those dimensions can easily be toggled off through the layer set that would be tied to the save plan view. Let's go over and take a look at the settings behind this dimension default for the kitchen and bath by clicking the edit button. Now a few things inside of this default for kitchens and baths. Primary format is set up to be in inches. You can locate certain objects when you use this dimension. And really one of the more important things is what layer this dimension will be assigned to when you use it. And you can see that layer is actually set up to be on the dimensions kitchen and bath. The other settings for the arrow and the textile, you can all control those items by going through the different panels. This dimension default is then engaged when you use the dimension tool and it will abide by these settings that you have for this default. Let's move over and take a look at the settings for text. Again, you're going to notice that I have text, not much of it in here, but here's text that says cabinet front. And let's take a look at what the settings are for text, just like dimensions, as you come over. And I'm going to take a look at the settings for the rich text object. And let's go in and look at the edit properties behind this. And the properties for this rich text for kitchen and bath is controlling the font, in this case, chief blueprint, the size, the color. And then if you go over to appearance, again, one of the more important items is it's going to come in on the text kitchen and bath and then there's other options you can control for this text. Anytime I use this rich text tool, it will abide by these, use those fonts and place those on the kitchen and bath layer. Now, all of these settings are working similar. If you come down and look at the text, revision, cloud, callouts, markers, arrows and notes, the exact same thing would apply to each one of those. Now, these settings are applicable to kitchen and bath and all eight of these can be controlled. Notice that my set of defaults, which is actually called kitchen and bath default set, there are several default sets that ship with the out of the box template plan in Chief Architect. If I were to switch this to the HVAC set, notice how all of those settings have also changed. So the dimensions, the text, all of these settings have just changed using that default set. And again, it has the different colors, the different fonts, and importantly, what layer they're going on. And it allows you to very easily then control when you create dimensions, it's going to go on a layer, it's going to have a certain look and apply that way. And you allow you to create a clean set of construction drawings. Let's go ahead and close this dialog and let's take a look. Currently, my active default set is kitchen and bath. You can see my plan view up here is called kitchen and bath. And if I were just to kind of come over here and let's go over to our project browser and let's take a look inside of this kitchen and bath. I'm going to right click and come down to edit view. And as I move down to the selected defaults, you're going to notice a very similar dialog. Here's a default set we're using kitchen and bath. Here are all of the properties that are being used for that particular default. Now the nice thing about a default set is all of them that you have in your template plan or in your plan that you're currently working on, you can easily come in here. You can control all of these settings with a single click and it will change those settings instantly for you. And this is typically saved with the save plan view and that's the easiest and the recommended way is to save those. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch that back to the kitchen and bath 
set. And let's take a look at what happens when we make a change. Let me switch my plan view to the electrical view. Come down, choose the electrical save plan view. And you're going to notice that the dimensions on the exterior of the walls has turned off. The text that we had for calling out this cabinet front turned off. And if we come over into the save plan view, let's go ahead and right click, click edit view you're going to see in this edit plan view that our active default is using the electrical. Here are all the individual defaults that it's controlling and it's very easy to then switch those electrical defaults, make them part of your save plan view, and then when you change your save plan view it's also changing all those default settings. Let's take a look at one more. Let's go into the floor plan. I'm just going to double click and open up this plan view and notice how the view changes. More importantly, when you come and right click on this edit view, it's using the quarter inch scale defaults and again all of those individual defaults are being set and defined in here. All of the defaults and default sets that I've been showing you in the video are coming from the template plan in Chief Architect. If you're new to the program and you just start using it, there's a template plan you're using. It's our out-of-the-box template plan. And if you wanted to create your own set of defaults, maybe for dimensions and text, and create a default set, let me just show you real quickly how to do that. If you want to create a new default for dimensions, there's a setting right in here for clicking and creating a new default. Let's go ahead and click on this Add New. And I'm just going to come over here for the purpose of the video. I like to be very descriptive, but for the purpose of this video, let's just call it My Dimension Default. And we do that, I'll just come in here and make a couple of changes. Specifically, let's come into the layer, and I'm going to control this layer. Currently, we, make a co we made a copy of the quarter inch one. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to change the layer this dimension comes on by clicking the Define button. At this point, it's going to open up the Layer Display Options panel, and you could choose which layer you want it to go on. If you don't see the layer in here, maybe it's easy to click on one of these existing ones. Maybe create a copy of that, and let's just give it a new name. Let's just call it Dimensions Working, and I'm also going to change the color for this dimension. Let's come in here just for the purpose of the video. I'm going to make it orange so you can see how we can control it. That will be the layer for this particular one. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the text. Let's come over here and let's create a copy of the quarter inch rich text defaults. I'm just going to come in here and call it my text default. And again, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to change the color of the initial font to be a similar color orange. And then importantly on the appearance, let's come in and let's change the initial layer from the text layer. Click the define button and over in the layer display options, I'm going to find the layer that I want to assign it to. In this case, I'm going to call it text working. I've already got it set up to be orange in this case. And then I'll go ahead and close this dialog. Now that I've changed the text default and the dimension default, notice that the default set no longer says quarter inch. It says active because I have not saved this as a quarter inch. And these two items have changed, so therefore it is switched. Now if I wanted to give this a name and create a new dimension default, and assume we may have made changes down to these other items in here, I can come over here. Let's switch that back to the quarter inch just temporarily. And now I'm going to come over and I want to create a new default set. Let's click on the Edit Default Set. And the easiest way to do this is just, let's just use the quarter inch, let's click new. And again, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to call it my default set. You now see that it's an active default set that I can choose. And then I can come over here and select the different defaults that I have available inside of the program. And since we created two, let's go down and let's find the dimension default we just created. And I'm going to choose this one. And we'll do the exact same thing for the text. And again, if you'd made changes to these other items, you'd do the same thing. Now that I've got my default set, I selected the dimension and the text, I'm set up. Let's go ahead and save this. Now notice this default set before I close the Save Plan View specification. The Save Plan View is using the Floor Plan View. So I am going to make a change in this case using this new default set. Let's go ahead and close the dialog. 
And now that I've made those modifications to this save plan view and I make changes with dimensions, let's go ahead and use this end to end dimension. Let's draw a dimension inside of this wall. And you're going to notice that it comes in on orange. And if I tap on that dimension, you look in my lower status bar, that's on the dimensions working layer, the one we defined. And if we come over here and use a text object, let's just come over here and maybe draw a text object in here. Again, you're going to see this is orange text in this case. As I type that in the dialog, it's using the same font and it was going to come in on the layer text working. And again, if I want to isolate those layers, it makes it very efficient. And as you switch back over into the electrical plan view, you're going to notice that that dimension and that text we just created are not on this particular view because the layer set behind here is not displaying those items that we created. So using defaults and default sets can be a very efficient way to produce your construction drawings.